Our today's topic is Miliaria. Miliaria results from obstruction of eocrine sweat duct with consequent sweat secretion into layers of epidermis. Facilitating factors for Miliaria. First is, it is common in hot and humid climate. Second is, ultraviolet light exposure. Third is, resident organism on skin like Staphylococcus epidermidis may be an etiological factor. And fourth is repeated sweating episodes. Classification Based on the level of obstruction, we classify miliaria into four different groups. First is miliaria crystallina. Second is miliaria rubra. Third is miliaria pastulosa. Fourth is miliaria profunda. Now let's discuss them one by one. The first is Miliaria crystallina, which is also known as Sudamina. See, if there is obstruction at the level of stratum corneum, this is called as Miliaria crystallina. Consists of superficial subcorneal non-inflammatory vesicles that easily ruptures when rubbed with fingers. They are common in infants in warm environment including in intensive care units. Now, the second is miliaria rubra, which is also known as prickly heat. If there is obstruction at the level of stratum spinosum, this is called as miliaria rubra. See, when obstructed sweat migrates into epidermis as well as upper dermis, which causing pruritic inflammatory papules around the sweat pores. This disorder is common in infants but also occurs in children and adults after repeated episodes of sweating in a hot and humid environment. The eruption usually subsides within a day after the patient moves to a cool environment. Anhydrosis associated with malaria however takes two weeks to recover completely. The third one is miliaria pustulosa. See, some of the eruption of miliaria rubra become pustular, resulting in miliaria pustulosa. Now the last is miliaria profunda. Profunda means deep. Okay. So if there is obstruction at the level of dermoepidermal junction or deeper, this is called as miliaria profunda. Now, the obstruction results in sweat leaks into the deeper dermis, which is due to the intense heat or after local injection of cholinergic agents. The affected skin can be uniformly covered with multiple discrete flesh colored papules that resemble goose flesh. What is the treatment for miliaria? Resolution of miliaria requires minimizing heat and humidity to reduce sweating and the avoidance of irritation to the skin. Strategies to avoid sweating, keeping the skin cool, and reducing irritation can help treat and prevent heat rash. Work in an air-conditioned office for at least a few hours a day. Sleep in a ventilated, cool bedroom. Move away from a tropical climate, avoiding humid weather. Avoid excessive clothing and tight clothing. Avoid excessive soap and irritants. Wear shirts and blouses made of breathable synthetic fabrics or cotton. Remove wet clothing. Cool water compresses and taking a cool bath. Patients should be education on symptoms of heat exhaustion.